everyone welcome to my channel today i am doing a townhouse that was actually a request from another simmer they asked for this house for something they needed and i'm not going to go into detail on that because they asked me not to so um the house i was a little confused about what i was doing at first because they did say that they like they gave me the name of the house i think it was the anderson's townhouse i think that's what i named it in the gallery um i'm not looking at my my Sims game right now while I'm record, recording the audio on this. Um, uh, they actually wanted this home as far as for the build to be like a starter home kind of value where it'd be about 20k. Now me right now like as I'm building this here after I finished building the initial shell of the house I realized I was already over the limit. I think it was at like 30 or 40k with just the shell and not even any of the furniture. So, um, I had to go and make it smaller, which you'll see here in a little while. Right now, I am working on the L-shaped stairs, because that's something they wanted. And I was originally intending that small section right there to be like a little closet, but it didn't work. I really do fumble around with like the floor plan here for a while, because, um, on top of wanting like to have an L-shaped staircase, they needed five bedrooms, and I was trying to figure out exactly how to do that with the way that I had the house set up because I definitely wanted it to be like spacious but I could really only fit like a total of five rooms upstairs and one of the rooms is a bathroom and that was like super tiny as is so I decided to make one of the downstairs rooms into like the nursery which I think is actually a good call because that way the nursery is like right there for the parent sim to be able to take care of the kid so uh, another thing I'm working on here is making like all the walls different colors of gray like originally I had a whole bunch of different wallpapers for this build because I was trying to give it like a lot of personality they wanted at least and maybe I in interpreted it wrong but they wanted green walls I think like green and white kind of themed house if I am wrong um, the the person that I made this for I'm sorry I still hope that you enjoy what I made here though but yeah originally there was a lot more different types of wallpaper but I ended up making the house a lot smaller and I changed a lot of my design ideas when I was trying to get it under budget now the house is not under budget at all and the reason why I didn't feel guilty about doing it then is because they said that they were using the free real estate cheat anyways and I was like, okay, good, that means I can at least add all this stuff because they did want like really good appliances and they also asked if I could possibly make like a wedding area and that certainly was not going to work. So when I began building this, before I even went into the game, I started looking up townhouses and you know, a lot of the townhouses, like as far as pictures go that I saw, it was like multiple houses connected together, which was a really cute idea, but considering the fact that they asked for a house for a family, I didn't know if I should have made a house where it was like multiple houses connected, so I ended up doing it this way, and I think it actually still works really well. It's still the style of a townhouse, but um... Definitely with my own personal touch. So, all right, here I am. I'm making the house smaller now. Like, and I was really struggling with this because I wanted to make sure the rooms were big enough that they would still work and, like, still have room to fit everything. And, like, this was around the time that I was messaging them. And I'm like, hey, you know, I got the house built, but just the shell alone, I'm already almost at budget. And that's when they told me that it was okay that they were going to use this cheat in order to make it a little bit easier. Um, actually, you know what? No, it might have been a little bit later than that that they said this. I was talking to them at some point while I was building this. Like, yeah, I'm still making it smaller. So it must have been a little bit later that I was talking to them. And I was honestly a little worried because I was like, oh man, there's no way I'm going to fit all this stuff that they need. Um, but I am glad that they they said they were going to use the cheat so they gave me a little bit more creative freedom and to be honest i think like even though i did make the house smaller in the long run i think it honestly is better like being a little bit smaller so even though they said yeah i could i could use whatever i wanted basically 
um, I decided, I'm like, you know, I spent all this time making the house smaller. It's going to stay this size. And I'm just going to focus on a bunch of landscaping on the outside. And if you know me, landscaping is one of the two criteria as far as the Sims building, like Sims house building that I struggle with. The other one being roofing in general. It was really easy to roof this build though, because it was, it was basically a box. So, um, like the porch was really the only like out of place thing there because like technically with like a townhouse that porch may not have been like that it may have been actually a lot smaller but I wanted to have an actual nice porch for them and I like I tried to leave room so they can add more items to it as they're playing with the game and oh yeah right here I was struggling with the windows because like I wanted to use those ones with the little blind things they're not blinds what are they called I, I don't know offhand but yeah, it wasn't centering right with the way I had the room set up, so I ended up just opting for these windows, and honestly, they look better anyway, so they work, and I was able to get them all to fit in there, and here I am just adding a bunch of different, um, like, appliances just to kind of make the kitchen a little bit more livable here. Um, I found out this cheat here, like, if you put something on a counter, then you move the counter, and then you can, like, use the Alt key and the Move Objects cheat. And you can kind of make stuff clutter a little bit le better and it looks a little more natural. So I've been playing around with that a lot now that I can actually do it and I figured out how to do it. I'm not using like the tool mod or anything while I'm doing any of my builds. I've never used that mod yet. Um, I, I kind of want to look into it, but at the same time, like I'm a little afraid that I will end up completely messing up my build doing it. So I haven't yet, oh yeah, I was having trouble getting this cabinet to line up. It's like a little off and it really bugs me, but I, I liked how it looked there. And it was just like really discouraging that I couldn't quite get it to line up. And here I am trying to get this all to line up. Nothing was lining up quite how I wanted it. And it was just, it was kind of stressful because like I like this look here and I just like, I really struggled on getting these cabinets to work the way I did. Like, I think I wasted way too much time doing this. But eventually I got something that actually looked pretty nice. Like right here. This is this is pretty good. Um, I've never used one of those things to put above the stove. I keep wanting to, but like I just never can get any of them that I like. So I never do it. So <laughs> that's why none of my builds ever have them. Even though I have tried multiple times, I just I can't get it to work the way I want it to. It just doesn't look right to me. Now I figure since this video is quite long, I might as well use this to uh, let you guys know that I'm going to be changing a little, oh, quite a bit about my channel, like my upload schedule. I'm really sorry, but I am not going to be able to guarantee that I'm going to have much of a schedule at this point, or if I do, like I might only be able to get a video up like once or twice a week if that I'm actually finally going back to my job and they called me back full-time which was totally unexpected but it's gonna be good because I'm gonna be at finally making money <laughs> uh, I've been off like completely off since June and before that I was like working part-time so I had a lot of time to work on my builds and stuff but like I know some of these builds like this build itself probably took me like a good eight hours to do this recording itself is going to take me about an hour or so give or take um most of it's just like doing the voiceover that's taken a while to record on i've gotten pretty good at my editing skills with the video so uh, i mean yay there for me i'm i'm getting a lot better uh anyways i am also thinking i am going to change some of the content i'm going to be doing in the future starting in September yeah it's August now uh, while I'm recording this it's August this video probably won't be out until September anyways but I am thinking I'm going to try to do some other videos like other video games I was thinking of doing some like graphic novels or not graphic novels visual novels because I honestly really like those play styles and I did uh, one on my channel before called without a voice and it was like beautiful, the artwork was amazing, and the storyline was really good. Now, I got the bad ending, or at least one of the bad endings. So honestly, I might try that game again on my on my channel, or maybe I'll just do it in my free time, I don't know yet. I, I did really like it, it was really, really fun. But I'm thinking I'm going to do some of that, and I'm also thinking like in October, I might try to release a couple spooky videos between Sims and like maybe some other like spooky small 
small time like indie games or something like I don't really want to do any of the big time stuff like the only big time game I plan to do on my channel at least for now is sims and yeah that doesn't mean that I'm going to be stopping the sims uploads or stopping uploading in general it's just uh, my channel's going to be a little bit more quiet I because I need I need time to rest and I'm not going to be able to afford to be able to be up all night recording and editing like I have in the past so I just want to give you guys that heads up I really do appreciate the support everyone's been giving me and all the feedback and all the like compliments and like even if you don't like any of my content or like any critique that y'all have given me I mean I definitely have been trying my best to improve it but I just I hope you understand that I I can't focus 100% on my channel because I do have a lot of stuff outside of my channel, like my kids for one, and now my job, and then I just have other things that I do besides working on my channel all day. So yeah, I, I really do appreciate all the love and support I've been getting, and I really, really am glad that you guys have liked this, and it's been amazing like just how quickly my channel has grown and like this even this past month alone I went up about 50 subscribers which is amazing because I was kind of at like a standstill for the longest time at like 60 subscribers and like now I'm over 130 while I am saying this while I'm recording this video I mean I could be more I could be less when this video actually comes out or gets posted up but it's great to know that I'm making content that people really enjoy and, um, like, it's, it's just been a really fun journey, and it's been fun to, like, expand my creativity, and, like, this, I got someone that wanted help making something for something they need, and I was able to do this for them, and I, I really hope they like it. Like, again, while I'm recording this, they've only seen the outside of the house, they haven't seen anything on the inside yet, but they did say it was cute on the outside, so I really hope they like this. So now that you've listened to me blabble on about the future of my channel and everything else going on in my personal life, I will go back to talking about this build. Uh, currently, I just finished doing the toddler room, and this is like a child room or a teenage room. This one I kind of made look a little bit more like a children's room, and the first room next to the parents' room was more like a teenage room. I basically set this up that there would be a room for every life stage. Now, the way that this house is set up because of it being so tiny, every bedroom does only fit one sim. Though there is that uh, bunk beds mod, and I know they have a toddler version of that, so you could easily replace these beds and put that bunk bed in there. Um, I'll try to remember to link that mod in the description below. Um, sometimes I know I say that I'm going to link something and I totally forget to do it. If I notice it later on, I do end up adding it or someone brings it to my attention, I will add it. But hopefully I remember to do this when I upload the video. But yeah, I I ended up like still going with the green theme everywhere. Like everything is at least some type of shade of green and then white. And I think it like looks pretty cool. I mean, uh, I'm not I haven't actually made a green house like like a house like that's themed in like the color green yet so this is actually pretty cool and then white just kind of gave it a little bit of you know calmness and it kind of seems like a very like serene uh peaceful house um yeah I was having trouble like decorating right there because like I'm I wanted to make it look like it was a very lived in bathroom there just because of the fact that an entire family that fits into a five bedroom home would be using that shared bathroom like there's not even a second bathroom or anything and like the poor parents their computers out in the hallway because I just had no room anywhere else to put it <laughs> but I mean I guess it works <laughs> at least they can kind of keep an ear out for if the kids are fighting or something like that I mean uh, my kids like to argue quite a bit, so I mean, no matter where they'd be in the house, I could probably hear them. Um, yeah, I was, th I almost added a chimney to the top of that, and I was thinking, like, why did I want to do that, considering the fact that I did not add a fireplace inside. I don't know why I was thinking that, but here I am, just like started my landscaping a little bit. I decided to do some like, like fencing right there, and a couple bushes, and I ended up like pretty much like going a little crazy with the shrubs and like the flower bushes I guess is what they're called 
Uh, just to kind of give this house a lot of greenery, considering the fact that it's such a tiny house on such a big lot, it really, really needed a lot of, a lot of stuff to kind of make the, make the yard feel a little less empty. Um, here I am making a gazebo, and as you can see, I have to redo this multiple times because I'm just like, I just can't get it to work the way I want it to. So, eventually, here I am, finally getting, I think, yeah, no, I'm not, this, yeah, there I am, I am finally got it there, where I wanted the gazebo, um, and this is the wedding area that was requested to try to add, and I really wanted to add this, like, the second they said wedding on the house lot, I automatically thought of, like, having a gazebo with, um, like, in the backyard, kind of like a backyard part, or backyard kind of wedding thing. So I was actually really happy to be able to make this. It was a really fun addition to this house and I think it really makes it complete. I was a little disappointed that like on the thumbnail in the Sims gallery that you really can't see it. Uh, <laughs> but I mean I guess it's just a nice little surprise for anyone that does end up downloading it. I think I had a couple downloads at least at the time of this recording. Uh, I probably will have at least a little bit more by then. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was just, like, looking for inspiration on wedding there, just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do, and this, this is what I ended up doing, like, here, um, inside the gazebo. Originally, I was going to put it, like, right outside the gazebo, I'm like, oh, that's kind of stupid. I didn't really want the wedding chairs to be outside the gazebo anyways, so here I go. I did this, like, I just, like, it looked really cute. I thought, like, all the little flower vases everywhere really worked. Um, I think it just, like, made it you know, interesting and like that there. I just tried, tried to make it look like it was attached to the staircase and then that's why I covered it with all these shrubs. Like I said, I go shrub crazy. So, I mean, it looks nice. At least I think so. So, I wanted to have like a little pathway here, but I didn't like how it looked just as that. So, I decided, oh, I'm going to take those shrubs that I have in front of the house and I'm going to line them up all around here. And then I'm like, you know, it's still a little too bare. So, while I did that, I ended up adding the other shrubs that are also in front of the house. And it's like a very interesting uh, type of walkway. I mean, you can't, definitely can't say that you don't know where you're supposed to go. Then I thought, I'm like, you know, I need light, so I just uh, went a little crazy with the lights here. Like, ev between every single bush, there's a light. Um, I don't think your sim can actually walk off the path. I think you have to follow the path, which is probably good considering the fact that everywhere that you need to go, you have to follow the pathway anyways. Uh, I originally was thinking, like, you know, I need to have something here. I'm like, okay, I'll just make, like, a little outdoor patio thing. And then I'm like, you know what? No, I'm going to make a whole actual deck. And I had to play around with things a little bit because I just, like, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do at first. And I decided, you know what? Here, we'll have a pool up on a deck. I thought it looked really cool. Unfortunately, though, that uh, fa foundation, foundation does not work if you, um... If you have a pole, so I was a little disappointed there. So I, I got it to work at least. It still looks like a deck. It still looks good. It's just not 100% what I wanted, but it, in the long run, I think it was a good idea. And that was just like to make giant bubbles. Um, <laughs> I, I'll be honest. I totally forgot to check to see how that looks in gameplay. Huh. Oh man, I, I guess I should probably start play testing some of my builds a little bit more. I'm really sorry if it. If it doesn't quite work the way it's supposed to, you can just get rid of it. I just thought it kind of looked cool even, like, underneath. Because it kind of just gave it more of a, like, outdoorsy feel to it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, um, I like these lights and I never get a chance to use them. And I thought it was, like, really cool to, like, add here. But I had a heck of a time getting, getting the lights to work the way I wanted to. Because of the shape of the deck, it wasn't quite even with the lights. But, you know, I I tried my best then. Here I go again, making more of the shrub type of pathway. And I go crazy with the lights again and all the different shrubs. And, I mean, it looks pretty. I really do think it looks really pretty. And, you know, this is... Yeah, I'm wrapping up now on the speed build. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you like this video, please like it before you go. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I will be, as I said, releasing a whole bunch of different content coming in the next couple months. Uh, we'll, 
If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, either on The Sims or another game, maybe even, because I like I have a bunch that I want to try, but I haven't decided on what I'm doing yet. But thanks again for watching, and I hope y'all have a magical day. Oh, and this video or <laughs> this house will be in my gallery under Mystic Magic Dream, as always. Please check it out and let me know what you think and. <laughs> I really hope that the person I made this for likes it too. And alright, we're just going to look at all these beautiful screenshots now. Honestly, I really, I really like how this came out. It kind of, it's really calming. And like, I like the little clutter here in the hallway, or the living room. And I liked having the nursery down here. And that was like a nursing chair, I was thinking. I know you can't really sit down with a baby. At least not yet. Maybe we'll be able to release the babies pretty soon in the future. I mean, we've been asking for it for a while. Oh, also, I ended up leaving the... Like, there really isn't a lot of skills stuff in this house. I left room that people could add to it as they need it. I didn't want to get too much because I didn't really know the family's personality that lives here, so I just tried to make it look more like a generic family home. Uh, okay, again, thanks y'all for watching. I hope y'all have a magical day. Bye!